I'm going to play some audio, so just bear with me, folks. Now, when I first heard this story, my immediately my heart went out to the family and to this little victim, this baby, I should say. But when you listen to the story, listen to what was was happening. Obviously, it was a racial crime. It was a it was a, a racial murder. You heard at the end of the, the uh, audio, they said that in 2017, a black man was shot by a white man. The crime was never solved. And you know what? This happens a lot across America where blacks are victim of crimes and it go unsolved. And a lot of times in predominantly black communities, people assume that the crimes are being committed by other blacks. This is why I and so many others found an offense and they said, what about black on black crime? Because we know that a lot of crime that happen in our community are not always committed by our people. <coughs> Excuse me. There are men, women, and children who come in our community and commit acts of violence. You know, we're the only community who don't call the police on people who don't live in our community unless we see them doing something out in the open or, or, or catch them doing something. And even then, police officers usually have slow response times. I remember about 20-something years ago, we still lived in the city. We saw a car accident near where we lived at. And the police station <laughs> was maybe next to where we used to live at. I kid you not. And, and you would think that the, 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 the crash would have alerted somebody. You know, it took them 30 minutes to come. I, I'm not exaggerating this. I'm really not. My mother had to get on the, on the phone and tell the police, hey, there's a white guy. That's, that guy got hurt. Then all of a sudden, you start hearing the... And my mother shook her head. My father said, what do you expect? Now, I know people are going to say, why am I bringing up the police department? Because if you watch the news... They quick to say, well, in the black community, we have a suspect. There's a black guy, mid-20s, mid-30s, mid-40s, 
blah, 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 blah. Then when you come to find out if they they, they uh, catch the killer, it'd be somebody non-black or black identified. This, from what this, this mother described and her daughter described, this is a race shit. The guy had a red pickup truck with no plates on, so he didn't want nobody to trace him. He had a hoodie open covering his, his, his head. He pulled aside a car full of females and shot into the car. Shot the mom in the arm and shot this poor child in the head. Her sisters got cut from the flying degree. They traumatized watching their little sister die. Now, as I said, this ain't the first time this has happened. For years, there have been people who are not black identified or who identify themselves as white who have put their hands on our people that cause death and destruction. You guys remember when I told y'all, I said, George Zimmer, he'll get off. And it's gonna and people are gonna feel emboldened by, by laying hands on us. These jokers ain't got bold. They don't care. They can be out, out, you can be minding your business. Somebody wanna shoot your vehicle. Or shoot you stand at a bus stop or whatever. Now, our community don't help it by committing being doing things in our community that cause diversions where they can hide behind. There's so many uh, murders and assaults that are not properly solved because everybody's too busy looking at our community. This baby was assassinated. Listen, and it's become a regular thing to shoot, our, shoot, kill our children. I hope to God they catch the bastard that did it. But we as black folk guys say enough is enough. We fight too many damn battles. We fight the, the criminal element in our community, the self hating element in our community. Now we got to go out and try to step outside among everybody else and worry about them laying hands on us. This baby was seven years old, her life's taken away from her. All that potential. I've sat back for years and I've yelled. I said, we have to police our own communities. We may have to go think outside the box to get, get to support. We shouldn't have to travel outside our neighbors, go to locations where we're not wanted or not respected. I mean, when you sit back and think about this, you think about how somebody can be that heinous on a Sunday morning. He said, I'm going to get in my vehicle and go out here and shoot some random black person. And the reason why I know it's a hate crack is they didn't shoot nobody else during the course of that day. They didn't, you mean tell me there's no white people around it? No, they, the guy pulled up to, to the, to the uh, car and slowed down enough and fired in the car. It's crazy to think that you could be just doing one of the most mundane things. And I hear people say, wrong place at the wrong time. You shouldn't have to say you was the wrong place at the wrong time. You was there for a reason. You should be able to come and go as you please. We do not do that to people. We do not kill people for um, random, random acts of violence. Just, just for shits and giggles. I take that back. There's an element our community do. I'm talking about stepping outside the community, laying hands on people. We don't do that. You only had like a handful of real hardcore criminals that engage in that type of behavior. But tell me where a black person has gotten away this amount of time laying hands, laying, laying hands with somebody Caucasian. I am so sick and tired of hearing these stories. Every week somebody's doing something to us. Somebody's laying hands on us. Somebody's killing us. Somebody's disrespecting us. Somebody's demeaning us. At some point, we as black Americans got to take a stand. It just... Whew, you just sit back and really think about all the unsolved murders in our community and law enforcement and media want to say... Black and black crime, we know damn well that other groups of people are walking in our community. 
somebody know this guy, the vehicle he's driving. Somebody saw something. I can't stand the idea of somebody getting away with committing these crimes. People thought that we was exaggerating for years about a mindset in this country. One of these days, we're going we to... Uh, I'm sorry, folks. This is, this, this is a hard one for me. Because I think about my nieces, my cousins who are in this age group. And it, it would just destroy me if something like this to happen to one another. Just because someone like the color of their skin. 